Hello everybody and welcome to a new roguelike. We are jumping into Axolotl, a case -lotl. I don't exactly know how it's pronounced, but this game has been uh, pumping out some demos over the past few months and making waves and it's finally released in early access and it looks pretty awesome. Essentially, it kind of looks like a nuclear throne, blazing beaks style game. Um, where you play as an axolotl with guns, which I mean, how can you not love that idea? So I'm gonna give this a try and then if people like it, it can stick around on the channel for a little longer But yeah, it'd be nice to see what you guys think of it um, and see what I think of it as well So let's jump right in and start up a new save file um, Let's have a little look see here. So we've got axol- axolittle mode and axolotl. So more relaxed. We're definitely not going more relaxed. We'll go with this one <laughs> Okay, I'm loving this already I apologize, by the way, if it's a little quiet. It's like David Attenborough. <laughs> this is so good. Predators in sight. It's easy to rest by the warmth of the campfire. However, letting your guard down can come at a great cost. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. With little time to think about their lost children, their sole motivation is the desire to feed. A full <laughs> a happy this is already like oh, the right yeah. vibe for a game like this. Can excuse stolen children, but they draw the line at stealing food. Someone oh lord. <laughs> the fire is burning within his eyes. That's amazing. So let's 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 try and do my sound effects up a little bit and see what that's like. Okay, so we've cracked a hole in that there. Yeah, so it seems very Nuclear Throne-esque in sort of the room design and how, how you walk around. The art style's really nice. Seems we do have uh, ammo per gun, but um, infinite ammo overall. I wonder if that'll be the case for every gun or if that's just the case for the AK. Um, we shall see. We shall see. So we've got our first enemy here. I'm guessing this is like a little tutorial area. Um, okay, we've got our first chest. And our first gun, the carbine. Or carbine, as Americans say. The, okay, so I was right. This doesn't have infinite ammo. This has limited ammo. Interesting. We've got a little sign here as well. How you doing? Let's talk to you. Hello, hangry fella. Have you heard that you can hold um, ability to use your snack ability? It will even heal you. I'm sure it tastes better than a wooden sign, eh? So what's my ability button? Let's try and figure that out. Okay, there you go. It's Q. Nice. Okay, so we can heal up with Q. That's rather nice. I like that. Another little sign here. I like it where it's called Sus Sign. Hey, what if you just stay here? There's a duck at the other side, so don't use Dash to jump over the water or it might get scared. Dash is space. Oh, it actually told me what the thing was there. Okay, so I can dash over. <laughs> Oh god, I'm loving this. And it tells us what the room's gonna give us. I think this room's gonna give us a weapon here. So this thing definitely seems better than our AK. And yeah, I think we're gonna get, a, gonna get a weapon here. Okay, so we get some choices in what we go for here. And I'm guessing Carbine, this will just give us ammo. But it restored over the base level of 180. We'll go for a star here and see what this is. I wonder if this is just throwing us into a full run or if this is a tutorial. Oh, at the minute, obviously, it seems quite easy, so I'm expecting it to be a tutorial, but I'm not actually sure. And this is going to be an ability, I guess? Yeah, okay. Um, so we've got... I, I didn't actually... I was meant to click on it to select it to read it. Oops. I didn't get a chance to read what any of those did. But there you go. Anyways, let's carry on. Um, and take on whatever this is. Why would you do that? I can't have you causing this much trouble. I have no other option than to show you a stop sign. Oh my god. That's cute. That is cute. I wonder if, if, if my right click is going to do anything. Okay, so obviously pretty easy boss there. Whoa, he turned to a gecko. What was that about? We can open that up and we get some gems. Which I'm assuming is our meta currency. Although, what the hell? We have a lot of meta currencies right there. Maybe there's some uh, home base building aspect to this game. We can, like, build up our own home base. So, yeah, I'm assuming that just was the tutorial there. We've got some sort of crystal over here. We've got some trees that I can't cut down at the moment. We've got a sign up there as well. Very intriguing. Does that, where, Where'd that gecko go? <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing I can, like, buy into some of these areas with some of this currency later on and, and open up this home world bit. 
to gain access to other things. Oh, we've also got starting weapons. That's very, very nice. So obviously, we've already got the AK. A game that has multiple starting weapons, I always enjoy that. We've got a training dummy as well, which is nice. It makes some just delightful noises too. Always like that. Uh, I'm going to up the, the music. Actually, I'm just going to up the uh, master volume a good bit here. And then turn that down a little bit. Put that up. There you go. Just want to try and get it to a good level. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, right. <clears throat> I love that. That's so good. Right. Oh, look at the little bunnies as well. So I'm guessing this is just throwing us into our first run here if we go straight through this door. Let's give it a go, shall we? Ooh. There you go. Okay, so yeah, I think, I think we're just straight into a full run here. So good to know we can keep using this. Ooh, we got some little triangles there. Okay, I, I apologize that I'm constantly messing with this, but I've got to get it right. I've got to get it right. Yeah. I like these little triangle bits, and we gained uh, a weapon chest here. And we get the carbine. So I'm guessing either we're getting very lucky to constantly get the carbine. Uh, carbine. I always keep calling it carbine now that I've said the American word. The carbine. Um... Or it could just be that we haven't unlocked other weapons yet, and so this is the only one available to us right now. Either way, it seems better than the AK by a decent amount. It just fires a little bit faster. Seems like pretty much every enemy drops this yellow currency, which I'm guessing is currency so we can use during runs. Now we can actually take a look at what these do. So we've got... Um, so spicy, you generate a trail of fire... Increase your damage by 40% but decrease your accuracy and obtain one shield, but it may contain sugar additives I'm gonna go with the um, oh, we've also got a reroll there as well. I'm gonna go with the increased damage because um, damage is life uh, And then we can take gun or random. I'm gonna go with random see what this is. Oh, well, it might not be random It might be um, some other thing, but I'm assuming this is random it, It's very akin to like how Hades works in terms of the uh, going between rooms so yeah, we got a gun this time again. Now, can I swap my AK? No, I can't. Okay, good to know. Um, and we got ourselves a sniper rifle by the looks of it here, like an SVD or something. Um, ooh, just that rock is shiny. Yes, indeed. Okay, I was curious about that uh, because obviously we've got all these different currencies here. I don't know how we get them. So this is a cookie. I'm guessing this is food replenishment, maybe. I don't want to use too much of my ammo here. We've also got a little number at the top right, which says 590 there. Ooh, this with lowered accuracy isn't so good. Oh, there's spikes. Okay. I am aware there are spikes. Okay, we've got multiple waves of enemies here. Let me destroy this real quick. I want a leaf from that rock. It's got a lot of mixes of different roguelikes in it, this, and I like it. Ooh, we got an interesting chest here. So that's... I don't know if that is food. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> we'll put, take whatever this axolotl one is here as well. We're finding stuff out. We're figuring out as we go. Ooh. Okay, this is this looks like a healing area. Like, we're going to get full health if we use this. we got a unicorn here. Rainbow. Can someone explain to me why winged unicorns are called alicorns instead of wingicorns? I'm sorry, I can't. We'll catch you. Egg unlocked. Draco. Okay, that might be like a little familiar we can get. Here's healing. This is money. Um, I don't know where we're going to get a chance to spend our money. So I ought to just kind of try everywhere. I'm just shooting everything I can at the minute in case I can gain other materials out of it. We'll go for money here. because I'm guessing the shop is going to be kind of like Hades where it's after the boss fight. Unless it's just a random area you can come across. That might also be the case. Oh, that guy is big. Holy shit. I, <laughs> I completely missed him. Okay, we got him. Got a few of them. Luckily, we've got this sniper that is very good. Obviously, the ammo is limited in this thing. Okay, he gave me his pistol. Again, we can only have one weapon. I wonder if there's any upgrades we can get to increase our weapons. Uh, and we'll take whatever this is. This looks like a potion of some kind. We'll take that. Maybe should have taken his pistol. Based on the fact there's a green outline... Okay, this is a shop. I see. Uh, based on the fact there's a green outline around guns on the floor, I'm imagining they... They can upgrade to blue quality and stuff. So we got zombie meat, normal bag, and the katana. Uh, we don't have enough for anything at the minute, uh, which is a shame. But good to know. Let's talk to this guy, Jack. The kids look like um, the kids like 
Doratios? So much I've started mining for them. Is that what the little triangles are? <laughs> this is a play on Doritos. I'm going to take more money though, but at least we know what the shop looks like now, and we know that it's not something that we have to wait until after the boss to gain access to. Oh, dude. Little chompy crocodiles. The, the accuracy down on this sniper certainly affecting me. Okay, so there's, there's our first time being hit, but we can munch on this little bit of food to heal up there. There you go. Good amount. And then the, all we've got here is money. We can't take anything else. Be nice to get another weapon before the boss, but I don't know if we will. We're back to our AK. The AK against these enemies isn't actually too bad. I don't know if I can actually roll through shots, you know. I've not I've not tried that yet. But I'm not going to try it until I have to, sort of thing. Oh god, the accuracy on this thing's pretty terrible as well. Wow. It's okay, they were managing. Okay, I, I couldn't quite tell if I got hit before. Uh, or after I rolled there. God damn. Oh my lord. Okay, you can roll through shots. Okay, that makes that makes life a lot more simple. Good to know. Weaving between some of those shots. A little bit hard. We got a sawn off out of that as well. And unfortunately, we're heading into our boss with 1 HP. So this might not go great. <laughs> This is an experience. We've got a crab boss here. This guy might kill me. The Pond Pincher. Okay, so remember I can roll over shots if I need to. And remember it's space to roll, not right click. For some reason I keep thinking it's right click. Luckily this weapon is doing insanely good damage. Oh, we got some weapons here. Oh no! They left behind an AoE attack, I didn't realize. We can regenerate here. Is that just re uh, respawn back at the beginning? So we've got our little um, hub now, our little corral. We've got this little chicken dude as well. Hello. Nugget. There's a new Axel little egg. Be sure to take good care of it. As a, a chicken, I feel the responsibility to stay around. You don't mind, right? So I'm guessing... Okay, it tells us right here. Um, Axe little babies require nutrition for happiness and growth. Tend to them, enhancing their happiness levels. Only when Axe littles are fully happy, they'll be able to grow up. Be cautious. Neglect may lead to the decline of their happiness before long. You'll have an adorable little squad at your disposal. Um, a happy little Axe little is a deadly Axe little. So, I'm guessing, basically this is different playable characters, maybe? Look at the little boy. But we can't hatch him yet. Oh, wait. Okay, there, there we go. We can, we can, we can pick him up. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> this is great. We got some Nintendogs action going on. There you go, little cute fella. And then we got all our different corrals here for uh, various babies. And I'm, I, I'm assuming they're like different playable characters once we fully level them up. We get the Axopedia here, which just tells us about all of our stuff, which is nice. Weapon spec. Oh, select a characteristic. We've only got one cookie right now. This is cool. There's a lot more to this than expected. Getting attention makes them happy. Don't ignore them for too long. Those poor babies may get sad, and sad babies can't grow. Aww. Little cuties. That's a cool mechanic, though. I like that. We're going to want to get as many of these cookies as we can to give ourselves a different specification for our character. I like that. That's cool. One second. Right, let's keep this going. These little rat boys aren't too bad. The shotgun guys are, are the trickier ones. Oh. Okay. Just going to quickly restart here. For some reason, I keep thinking that roll is right click, and I don't know why. I think it's going to... Is it right click in Gungeon? Oh, we got a free weapon chest here. I think it's I think it's right clicking Gungeon. Okay, so we've got two weapon chests here, which honestly isn't ideal, because I don't think there's much we can do with two weapons, is there? Ooh, this thing fires fast. It's like a triple shot. Uh, I'm curious to see what this is, but also the star, maybe? I'm going to go in here and see what this is first. I'm taking the katana as well. Um, I didn't expect this weapon to have melee weapons. I'm kind of happy it does. They destroy shots as well. I expected they would. 
It's nice to know. And here we get... Hey, some leaves. Okay, I still don't really know what the leaves do, but good to know. Um, and we're going to take a cookie here as well, because the cookies seem very useful for us. Okay, we're one-hitting some enemies here. Very much like this. Give me that cookie. Hell yes. And then we'll go mystery, because we might get another cookie if we go mystery. The range on this thing's pretty good as well. Okay, just a lot of these guys. Beautiful stuff. Lots of extra gold, thank you. I'm going to try and get as much gold as I possibly can. As many Doritos as I can possibly hold. Okay, the crocodile managed to sneak a, sneak a hit in there. Oh god, the katana is so good. Also, we have a lot of Dorito money. Okay, we can't get over to that island. I'm almost a bit, uh, have my ability to heal ready. Yeah. Well. Actually, yeah, I was going to say we're running out of ammo on Katana, but Katana's still looking good, to be honest. Awesome stuff. Grab all that. Dude, our money is looking great. We also have a multiplier here. Um, I'm not sure what the multiplier is specifically for. Okay, so I think this is the shop. We have 98. It's probably enough to do some good stuff with the shop. Let's go for it. Okay, so we've got lemon juice. We've got black goo. We do have enough to get black goo. Let's, let's buy black goo. Do we get to see what that is? Black goo. I don't know what black goo did. I don't know what black goo does. I guess we'll find out as we progress. Um, I don't want another weapon, please. I'm very happy with what I have. Let's take more Doritos. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, it's the crab boss room. I was like, what the hell is this cool looking room? See, now, do I take a katana into the boss with the low ammo it has? I, actually, no, I think I take the sniper, don't I? Yeah, for the boss, I think I take this. Even though the katana can destroy shots, I think this thing's going to be overall better. Also, I need to reload this. The katana has been good to us, but the limited ammo of having, like, two ammo kind of scares me. Ooh, okay, so the black goo is just stuff under my feet here, I see. Okay, this thing does not do much damage compared to the um, compared to the shotgun we had prior. Probably going to end up using all of this ammo before we end up getting a kill here. Oh, he's doing a new attack this time as well. We can't hit him during this either. Oh, he is uh, stunned here, which is nice. We're doing good damage to him. Okay, so this time make sure we don't step in these uh, areas that are full of fire. And we've got two guns available for us after this. Dude, this is crazy. Do you want to chill out, my guy? Is there something I have to do to end this? Okay, there is. Quick quick heal in there. He has a knife. Crabbo stabber. Oh my god. Crabber, stabber. Okay, we're getting him done. This attack scares the hell out of me. But there you go, we did it. <laughs> the style on this game. Oh my god, the flair that they put into it is pretty beautiful. And here's this massive chest again. Hey, we got a sniper back. <laughs> Thank you. Can I do anything with the big old crab body? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's move to the next floor. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so we've got like a little a little base bit here, so we can heal there. 
We can do some fishing, potentially. This is a fish fishing. Chips? Is that chips? Another good old day of flip it, uh, filling the bucket. Nice. And then we can go through here. It's nice this little stopgap to heal up. I wonder if I can overheal. Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyways. Nah. Okay, good to know. Right, let's keep moving. But I think with this game, you want to just use the weapons as and when they're available. There's not much point saving them. Was that a pigeon? I think I just killed a pigeon. New weapon. We're getting a lot... It, it must be that we have to, like, unlock a lot of different weapons. Because I think early game, we're just not got, we've not got many to possibly find. Or maybe it's just the early game, you only find certain weapons. Then as you get later into the game, you start finding new ones. Honestly, I'm just not an expert on this, so I don't really know. More of that currency. That's a different currency, actually. Um, I can't remember what the star one is. I'm going to go for the star power. Have I done the star power before? Okay, we've got a very big boy here. I'm going to try and get him to come over here. That didn't work, but... The effort was there. I think he's eating bodies as well. I wonder... Can I get you to dive straight into this pit? Okay, no, you just jump over the pit. That doesn't do anything. Okay, nice. We got you. Okay, um, let's leave a trail of fire. Zaps anybody's going to get close to you. I like the idea of that. Let's take that. Crack open another one of those. And yeah, we'll go for another weapon here. We might get something good. We're running low on ammo on this bad boy anyhow. Oh, well, those explosions are not, not very high range. Trying to use my uh, my electricity when I can for a little bit of extra damage. Okay, someone lobbed a mine at me. Who was that? That's you, little squirrel buddy. I love the fact that it's all like woodland critters. Reminds me of the South Park episode with the uh, Satanist woodland critters. Okay, the AK is clearly doing like naff all to this guy. Taking a lot longer to kill him. We have over 100 gold now, though. And we have a cookie available here. Nice. Nice new weapon. Hey, the katana's back, baby. Hell yes. Katana is life. Oh, didn't expect that guy to uh, not die in one hit. This is actually pretty good with my electricity as well, because I'm getting very up close and personal. Lovely. Cookie! I want as many cookies as I can possibly get. Oh, what? I'm, I'm still on two. What did I gain there? I thought I'd be on three by now. What? Maybe I spent one at some point? I don't know. Beautiful. Yeah, the squirrels are clearly the enemy right now. They they seem like they can do a number on us if we're not careful. That was also a very bad hit by me. Ooh, that explosion managed to kill those guys. Maybe maybe they are friends. Okay, shop again because we've got 150 coins right now. Shop seems very valuable at this point. Um, we've got the shotgun of fire for the extra damage and less accuracy. We've also got the butter knife. I think we'll take that for now. Um, and then we'll go this way. I'm guessing it also applies the extra damage to our katana. But I don't really see how our katana can be less accurate, so... Free real estate, I guess. I love the fact that enemies get hurt by the spikes, too. Oh, 
dude. We're wrecking him. We've still got 40 some ammo left with this thing as well. The ammo on the katana is... It goes a long way. Lovely. And then we've got our next boss, which looks to be some sort of demonic cat looking thing. Let's munch down some food here and get in and fight whatever this thing is. Okay, so this is basically a cat looking thing. It's like a, a mechanized cat that's been ran by a cat inside it. Holy shit. And the, the area is getting smaller? Oh, balls. Okay. Being able to destroy shots is super good here, but goddamn. Holy. Tricky boss. Tricky boss. That sends us back again. We got a new starting weapon unlocked. That's rather nice. Do we have much else? Oh, we do. We are on three cookies. The game just lied to me before. Let's go and play with our little friend. Hey, little chicken. Getting attention makes them happy. Don't ignore them for too long. These poor babies may get sad, and sad babies can't grow. I know that already. I wouldn't ever. He's pooping rainbows. So I have to put a diaper on him. <laughs> what is this game? Not what I expected, but. Very wholesome. Right, let's grab ourselves the scatter gun, which is definitely more my style. And we'll jump in for another run before we end off the episode. So far, though, I'm really liking it. I'm hoping that the variety increases as we play, which I'm sure it will. And you got to remember as well, this game is still in early access, so there's probably still a lot that you want to add to this game. Back to gun. Cookie straight away. I'm going for it. But so far, I quite like the amount of enemy variety in the early levels. Normally, most roguelikes, the early floors basically have, like, three enemies. But this game seems to have a good amount. Um, some harder and some easier, which is nice. Open that, give me that cookie. Um, and then, yeah, like, I'm liking some of the weapons. Ooh, diamonds. I, I haven't had any diamonds yet. Let's take those. Um, ooh, that's a new, another new enemy there. Another new enemy. Okay, so this is what I'm sort of saying about, like... The early floor uh, variety is pretty high. Um, okay, this pistol's real good. Real goddamn good. Okay, both of the big guys at once. I like the way the big guys fire different colored bullets as well. Ow. Bad hit by me there. Ooh, hello. Also, this is a three-wave room. We haven't seen yet either. Do you know what? Honestly, the pistol was better. I was just about to say, I need to stop taking damage because otherwise I'm going to die. Immediately walked into bullet. But dying seems to be good for us. <laughs> oh, we did get some diamonds at the very start, didn't we? Of course. End to talk. Why? It, it's, it's mixing up the keys. Anyways. Duh. Psst. Hey, I'm Duh. Nice to meet you. I can unlock some items for you if you hand me over some of those shiny gems. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, one minute. There you go, that's better. Slightly off center there. Weapons shoot one inch projectile but decreases your damage by 40%. That's currently sold out. How do I. I only have one gem right now. I thought I had 15. Where did the other ones... Did it, I think I already bought the beer. I think that's what happened. I think I accidentally bought the beer immediately. Okay. That's pretty good, though. We bought some beer. I like that. Okay, so this is what exactly what I was talking about. Being able to, like, buy extra stuff. Do I have to take care of my buddy after each... Um, after each adventure? Oh, there you go. I grew him. Oh! Very nice. You know how teenagers get all they care about is food. 
Try cooking something for them to help them grow into strong adults, huh? Don't look at me like that. Go do some cooking. Collect ingredients and bring them to the cooking pot to prepare recipes for your teen and adult ox axolittles. Main courses will help them grow into unique classes while serving them. Dessert will provide them with a new active ability. Unleash your inner chef by mixing and matching classes with abilities. Ooh. This is very intriguing. I did not expect this. But at the minute, we don't really have enough to do much of anything. But. I like the idea here. Yeah, I, unfortunately, we can't afford to do that yet. But yeah, I really like the idea here. That's pretty interesting. Being able to, like, create custom classes. Let's jump into, like I said, another run, because that last one didn't really count. <laughs> um, and then we'll leave it off there. I'm liking the, uh, the scattergun. Ugh. Gotta love the katana though, but I did I did expect there'd be a way to unlock items fairly quickly, and the game has already provided. Cookie. We want 25 leaves, I think it was. Let's go with diamonds. I think diamonds are gonna be more valuable now because we can actually unlock more items with them. And it seems like off of the bat, you start with very few unlocked, so you want to be doing this stuff. I don't know if um, this little fox guy has started appearing because we've got later into the game, but it seems like maybe he has. He's very tricky. Good. Rooms are definitely a lot harder now, like a lot harder, so I think the first few rooms that you do are like kind of, the first few runs, sorry, you do are kind of like tutorial runs. Because the game is, the, the game has definitely gotten harder now. The, the rooms are longer, um, it may contain things. Oh shit, that does contain things. My goodness, okay. Bag is good. Early game bag is good. Ow, dude, I, I really have a, have a hard time getting these guys. Oh, dude, I'm almost dead again. And I've got no healing ability left. Those dudes really mess with me. I don't know what it is. I think it's because they move away and I have melee right now. Oh, I can shoot them through walls. That is lovely. Um... Obtain immunity to spike traps, increase damage, become sticky, and leave trail of goo. Let's go for a reroll on this. Um, your insurance pays off. Heal three health. Obtain one shield. Um, hurts, but increases your health by one, and you obtain one shield. Would that kill me? I'm going to go with this for now. I know it's not the, the most fancy of things to grab, but whatever, it's done now. The froggies. Gotta be a little careful of the froggies. I gotta remember I can switch to my other weapon, but even then, this guy, still hard. Got him. Basically, I need to watch for wherever the big guy spawns and be on it as soon as they spawn. A lot easier that way. Okay, shop we definitely want to go for here. We have so much money to play around with. Veggie. Oh, that increased our maximum HP. Awesome. Very worthwhile. I wonder if you can get more than one shop in the first area. Probably not. Uh, dude, those spike traps have a, a larger hitbox than they would... Uh, then they visually look like they do. They just wanted to sit on the spikes, my lad. Make sure we heal up. Grab more coins. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going into this without a weapon, which I don't particularly like. 
It does seem like um, the, the the boss is static. We're not going to get randomized bosses, which is fine. A lot of roguelikes do have that. Do the attack where I can't hit you straight away, buddy. Okay, this weapon is not doing a great job. For one, we have to be quite close to him. Oh, dude, bad hit. We can hop over both of those waves at once. But we ought to try to do that. Back to having his knife again. This Having a melee weapon in this fight seems like it'd be really good for dealing with the knives. But he didn't get stunned this time. Maybe I get stunned on certain hits. He's almost dead. Ah, bugger, that was a bad hit by me there. And another bad hit. Oh. Luckily, we get healing after this boss fight, and I think he's dead. There you go, we got him. Beautiful. Not one of those swanky boss chests. I think I'm going to take the pistol, to be honest. It did pretty well last time. Right, and yeah, I'm hoping this is a full heal. It might not be, though. Now, I'm wondering how we fish, because we needed fish for some of the recipes. Maybe we have to, like, unlock a, um... Oh, there you go. Okay, I see. We just gotta destroy his... I'm sorry to steal your fish, my guy. But, hey her. We just gotta steal his fish. That was close. Oh, wait. Did I just... Did... Did I not heal? Or did I just hurt myself a ton? I'm going to go wherever this meal is. Okay. We're getting food? No, we're not. Cookie! I love the way the big raccoons look. I like the fact that the enemy design is all like little critters. Good, good. We can heal up here as well. Let me get ourselves yet another cookie. Through here we go. We're almost out of ammo though for our main weapon here, so hopefully we get another one soon. Wait, did we get hit? Apparently we did. I, I healed up, but apparently I got hit again. Thing is, there's still going to be another wave of these. Still, it's, it's, it's definitely a pretty tricky game. Sawn off. Oh, what a jump. Okay, we did pretty well there, I think. But yeah, definitely a tricky game. I'm liking that like the first few runs is unlocking all sorts of different things. In fact, I'd probably say that it's a good idea to just die a bunch of times early on to uh, try and unlock a, a lot of these various different areas. Um, we've got enough to make a meal now. We've got 25, so let's uh, quickly cook something up. Nope, I want to grab that. Come here, my baby. I have din-dins for you.
There you go, fella. So how do I... Now that you're an adult, can I play as you? How does this work? Adult Axolotls are ready for battle. Swap places with one of them and unleash them into the wilderness. Each one is different to keep an eye out for new combos. Once your Axolotls reach adulthood, you'll have the option to alter their unique weapon style. Achieve, achieve this by accessing the Axolotlpedia and giving them cookies. So we figured that out already. Uh, how do I... A uh, swap, there you go. Way hey, there you go. I like this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play as this one. And then let's figure out what the hell that big crystal area was that we've unlocked here with this demon woman. Bliss Stalker is hungry. Bring the little happy ones to me, yes? Crystals take happiness from the babies. And I give you permanent upgrades, yes? Okay. The Bliss Stalker is a shady creature that trades permanent upgrades in exchange for happiness. Um, position your Axel little babies near the magical crystal, extract their happiness, and exchange your harvest for some enticing upgrades. Enchanting smiles um, for power qualifies as a morally grey area, right? Oh, okay, okay. I kind of like it. My mouse has disappeared while I'm in this menu. Um, okay. Good to know. So basically, I've got to sacrifice my children to this woman. Yeah. Got a bunch more things here, not enough to, uh, to grab it yet. But pretty cool stuff. I'm really liking this game so far. If you guys want to see more of it on the channel, do let me know and I will try and pump out more of it. Uh, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think it's starting off a little slow in terms of the amount of upgrades and weapons we have available. But it seems like there's probably going to be another upgrade soon to buy new weapons, probably somewhere around here or up here. Um, and once we get that, things will really start to spiral out of control and we'll start having some really varied runs. It also seems the system with feeding and the system with permanent upgrades, it seems like a really good way of doing things. So yeah, I'm quite liking it and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.